Let's see. All right, all right. Shalawam, Yasharala, Shalawam. This is the GMS Riley collaboration once again through the Spirit Party Out by Shemar Shah. I'm Brother Naquam. All right, you know, this is another GMS collaboration, Raleigh, you know, once again, through the spirit, before we open up and uh, get started with this lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son, Yahweh, 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 Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechakwadash, Khan. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% true according to the Bible and Heru well. And Shalom to y'all the Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth pushing the name and the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know, and this lesson is going to be centered around repayment, man. You know? Because contrary to popular belief, you know, payback is coming uh, onto, onto, onto those who uh, did uh, evil unto us, man. And when I say us, mainly focusing on the elect, the men of the Lord, you know. So somebody can grab me uh, Colossians 3 and 25 for the first one. And then Galatians 6 and 7, you know. And then hold that uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. You know, because payback is coming, man. You have to pay. You, every action has a, a consequence, man, or a reward for it. You know? So somebody can bring that out. That uh, Colossians 3 and 25, Baba Kasha. Yep. This is Colossians to 3, verse 25. But he that do a wrong shall receive for the wrong. Which you have done. Right, yeah. See, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, man. You know? And that's payback right there. So all those that did evil and wickedness, you know, mainly focusing on our people, you know, you're going to have to get paid back for that, man. That's why it's a whole bunch of people getting deleted out the program, man. Right about now. The Lord is calling a whole lot of spirits back up to the spirit world because of their disobedience, man. And then, of course, Esau and the other heathen nations, they're going to get paid back for everything that they did unto the nation of Israel, man. But double. Read on. It says, and there is no respect of persons. Yeah, right, and there is no respect of persons, meaning Yahweh Bashim Shah don't show no uh, favoritisms, man. Okay, so it don't matter if you're a woman, it don't matter if you're a man or a child, man. You know, if Yahweh Bashim Shah decides to uh delete you for the wickedness that you was doing while you was on the earth you know yahweh bashim uh is going to do that man you know there's no respect of persons yahweh bashim don't show us no type of partiality man okay the lord ain't gonna spare a woman just because she's beautiful man or she got a million followers on instagram or the lord's not going to spare a man just because he has street status all right, oh, he's a famous celebrity, or he feeds the homeless. If you wicked, the Lord's going to delete you, man. Okay? That was under that, my brother? Uh, Somebody hold that uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Get that Galatians 6 and 7. I got it right here. Gone. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Be not, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. Right, see, and that's another payback scripture right there. Whatsoever a man soweth, which goes into planting, that's what you're going to reap, man. That's what you're going to get. Okay, if you planted wickedness, okay, you was, uh, you know, talking about our people, you know, saying uh, you was committing sins, which is transgression of the laws. You was committing adultery, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, gang banging, stealing, you know, murdering, uh, idol worshiping. And you didn't repent from that, the uh, Yahweh Bashim is going to uh, reward you by uh, deleting you, man. Okay? So like I said, through the Spirit, the other heathen, the other heathen nations, they're going to get theirs in the kingdom, man. All right? 
Read that over one more time, my brother. Let me get the definition of the word payback. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Mm-hmm. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right, and that goes for the the woman too. Whatsoever uh, wickedness that you put out, that's what you're going to receive, man. Okay? And like we read in Colossians 3 and 25, that the Lord don't show no favoritisms. So the man, woman, and the child that's wicked in this society that are Israelites, that I'm focusing on, you're going to get deleted, man, if you don't repent. And I got the definition of the word payback right here from the di Google Dictionary. It says, an act of revenge... Or retaliation. And who's going to do that? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We ain't got to lift up a finger. We ain't got to get carnal, man. The Lord is going to fight for us, like it says in Exodus 14 and 14, man. All right? So the Lord is one that's sending all the judgment out here. All right? That was it on that, my brother? Uh, What was that? Second Thessalonians 1 and 6, I said. Come and then somebody get that revelation nine and uh ten. You know, the numbers thirty five and thirty three, you know. Cause everybody gonna get rewarded and paid back. The two thirds of our people and these other heathen nations, man. Alright. Whoever get it first, you can read it. Second Thessalonians one and six. Yes, sir. Right, see, seeding is a righteous thing with you. How about Shimei Hashem? When you go into the word righteous, it goes into justifiable. So all the deletions, all the judgments that our people are receiving and these other heathen nations, you know, it's because they came up against the men of the Lord, man. Okay? And also the future judgment that these people are going to be getting. Okay? It's a righteous thing with you. How about Shimei Hashem to Ricky Pence, which Ricky Pence goes into repay or pay back. Unto those that trouble you, man. That troubled us. You know what I'm saying? The two-thirds of our people and these other heathen nations, man. You know? Read that one more time, Baba Kasha. So, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Mm -hmm. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right, yep. See, and then the other heathen nations that, 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 that put their hands on us. You know, that uh did us wrong. Okay. They're gonna get their uh they're gonna get their reward, their payment in the kingdom, man. Okay, they're gonna go right here first into slavery. All right, underneath the uh starting off with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. As a matter of fact, that's why the whole told the brother the whole Revelation 13, 9 through 10. Somebody can get that right quick. Just to back up that point. You know? Yep. You ready for it? Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have a ear, let him hear. Right, which is going into understanding. If he can receive what's about to be said and then uh, dissect it spiritually. Read on. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now, 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 now was the nation of Israel, which is consisting of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, won't we hauled off in the cargo slave ships? Did not we come to this country, you know what I'm saying, as uh, on cargo slave ships, okay? And we still slaves to this very day, you know? So the scripture says, he that leadeth in the captivity, which goes into slavery, they're going to go into slavery, man. That sounds like repayment to me, okay? You got these wacky tacky Christians talking about some uh, love and forgive and forget. Well, that's not what the Lord is going to do. The Lord is going to uh, forgive and forget the elect for their sins and blot them out. But these other heathen nations of the two thirds, they got to um, they got to pay, man. Read on, my brother. He that killed with the sword mm -hmm. must be killed with the sword. And that was his blessing, yeah. man. You know, going into the uh, Esau, the so-called white people, the Edomites. You know, their blessing was the sword, man. Okay? And they then they yielded and used that sword very, very well, man. That's why you got GMO fools. Everything in this society is pretty much set up to kill you jakes, man. All right? From the laws, you know, chemtrails in the air. You know, then you got to go and then you go into their guns. You know what I'm saying? That weaponry that they use on Jake. 
the experiments, you know. So in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to get devoured by our blessing, which is going to be those spiritual powers, man. And we're hoping to be, make it on the first go around to have that honor to do that, you know, to get our hands on these wicked elites, man. Read on. Here is the patience. Right, yeah, this is what we got faith in, man. And patience goes into suffering, you know. So here's the suffering as well as the faith of the saints. The saints are the Israelites, uh, primarily the elect, man. Because what comfort us? What gives us hope? What what we have our we put our faith in? Yahweh Bashim Yahshah and the, what the scriptures say, man. Okay. The prophecies, you know. That was it on that. Uh uh, somebody hold me, um, uh, let's see, uh, what's that, uh, Numbers 35 and 33, and Jeremiah 30 and 16, you know, because, yeah, we covered the two-thirds of our people, but guess what, you other heathen nations, you're going to get it the worst, man, you're going to get it the most, all right, we covering everybody in this lesson right here through the spirit, man. The spiritual heathens, which is the two-thirds, and also you literal physical heathens, man. You other nations. All y'all going to get it for coming against the men of the Lord. Whoever got it, you can read it. This is uh, Numbers 35 and 33. Mm -hmm. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, mm -hmm. for blood is the style of the land. Right, and this land right here is full of the bloodshed of the nation of Israel, man. Of the Israelites. Okay, that's how it was established, man. Off a of rape, robbery, and murder of our people. Okay? So bloodshed of the Israelites, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, definitely defiles this land. But what's going to happen to them, brother? And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, mm -hmm. but by the blood of him that shed it. So that's payback, man. You shed our blood, so now we got to do it to you, according to the Bible. Okay? Yahweh Bashima Shah deals with balance, man. Okay? Like the elder apostles and the elder bishops always say, you know, here it is, you've been putting hell on our people for hundreds of years, and then you think you're going to have a uh, double rulership in the kingdom? You rule this kingdom, now you're going to uh, think you're going to walk your way into our kingdom and be ruling with us. And that ain't going to happen, man. You know, you're going head first into slavery if you have the other heathen nations. All right? Starting off with the Edomites, the so-called white people. That was it on that, my brother? Uh, what else I called for? Was it Jeremiah? Yeah. Gone. Could somebody grab that right quick? Baba Kasha. You know? The, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, bloodshed is definitely, it's been spilled on this land, man. It, it, it defiles it, man. So now, in order for that, you know what I'm saying, to be uh, cleansed, like the scriptures say, it, uh, the, the one who shed it, their blood got to be shed, man. This is Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Right, all they that devour us, they're going to be devoured, man. They devoured us with GMO food. You got the other heathen nations, like these so-called Africans and Arabs, Chinese people, you know, opening up our, their shops in our, in our neighborhoods, selling us poisonous foods, okay? These, these wicked laws and legislations that this, these, these, these devils pass, man, you know? So they're going to get devoured, man. The kingdom of heaven, according to Revelation, the second chapter, they're going to get uh, dashed into pieces, man. Like a potter's vessel. And they should be broken to shivers. Read on. And all the adversaries, mm -hmm. every one of them should go into captivity. Right. The scripture says, all thine adversaries, which goes into enemies, the other heathen nations, man. They're going to go into captivity. Another word for captivity is slavery, man. All of them. Okay. You got, you got that, uh, Gok, okay, ain't no five Edomites, so however you say, that's going to repent, and then they'll be able to rule alongside with us. That's not going to happen, man. It's, the scripture says, all thine adversaries shall go into captivity, okay? Read on. Mm -hmm. It says, every one of them shall go into captivity. Yep. And 
they that spoil thee shall be exploited. Right, yeah, all they that spoiled us, they're going to get spoiled, man. Which everything that they own, they took from us anyway, we just going to get it back. Okay? All the things that they plundered under us, they 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 uh took our uh, gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? Everything that was uh once uh that once in our possession that they had, we gonna get it back. You know. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Right. Yep. So it's gonna be a role reversal, man. We gonna be the predators, and they gonna be the prey. All right. Because in this captivity that we're in, in this in this in this kingdom, man, under the rulership of the wicked, you know, hey, we pray and they're the predators, but it's gonna be a rope reversal, man, in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Once Lord's when we get those those powers, man, in those bodies. That was it on that, brother? Khan. Khan, so that, that was pretty much the point. Do the spirit probably how about Shim Al Shah, Bashima Khakwadash. We pray that it was edifying. Lord's willing to next time we say Shalom.